Well, hello and welcome to Beginning Guitar. I'm all bundled up and I have myself a hot cup of cocoa because today is January 27th and it is snowing outside. But now that I've come in from shoveling off the driveway, I'll go ahead and grab my guitar. Oh yeah, see? Just so you know, I'm not making this up. There it is. A real snowball I collected. Maybe I'll put it in the freezer and save it for later. Because right now it's starting to rain on the snow and it's uh, looks like the snow's gonna go away. All right. Well, just to get started with the guitar, we have different people in this class, um, but I'm gonna start at the beginning. So if this is a little easy for you, then it'll just be review. And then the videos will get more advanced as we go along. But I would like to start just by reviewing the strings and what they're called. When you learn a new instrument, you want to learn what notes the strings are tuned to. And at first, you just memorize it for no special reason. Later on, when you learn a little more, you'll know why you need to know the names of the strings. But for now, let's just uh, see what we got. So first of all, we'll number them. The string closest to the floor is string number one. And then as we go through them, two, three, four, five, six, string number six is closest to the ceiling. Now string number one, closest to the floor, has a high sound, and the one closest to the ceiling has a low sound. So that's a little bit funny because it feels like the guitar is built upside down because the high string is down and the low string is up. It's a little bit nutty. And we are musicians. So rather than thinking about where it is in physical space, we like to listen to the sound and talk about how the sound sounds. So I like to call no, string number six the bottom string because it's the lowest sound. And I like to string, call string number one the high string because it's the highest sound, even though it's closer to the floor. Crazy, huh? But I got something else that's going to make this easier. So first, the letters are E. A, D, G, B, E. Now, while I tell you how to memorize that, why don't you uh, grab your guitar if you don't have it already. But we use a silly sentence to help us remember. So it goes like this. You start with your thumb. So I hope you have your guitar. If not, you can pause the video. But you start with your thumb, and you start on string number six, the one closest to the ceiling, and you play E. E is for Eric. Then the next string is A for eight. D is for dynamite. And then G is for good. B is for bye. And E is Eric. So it goes like this. Eric, eight, dynamite, good, bye, Eric. See if you can do that with me. Here we go, you ready? Eric, eight, dynamite, good, bye, Eric. There we go. Now, for those of you who want a challenge, let's see if we can go backwards. Eric by Good Dynamite 8 Eric. Let's see if we can do it with just the letters. Now, sometimes a good trick to learning this is to think the sentence, but just say the letter. So let's try it. E. A, D, G, B, E. There you go. Now, one of the things about guitar is when we start playing songs and chords together, we'll need your guitar to be in tune. Hopefully there's someone at home in your family who, who knows how to tune a guitar. Uh, if not, you might be able to learn but usually students for the first six months or year need help to tune their guitar because it takes a while to learn how to do it. Now, these are your tuning pegs, and when you turn them, uh, it tightens and loosens the string. So we can practice a little bit to get you ready to learn how to tune, but first, I want you to think about something. This has a gear on it. It has a lot of leverage, and it can make that string really, really, really tight so if you keep going and you over tighten that string, you could break the string, but also it is possible 
to damage this part. If you, if you pull that string too tight, it can pull that off. So a good rule to keep you out of trouble is let's say I turn it one way, half a turn. Well, then I can turn it back half a turn. And I would say a full turn all the way around, which you'd have to grab it twice to do that. So if you go one, two, that's probably about as far as you want to go for now. And then the other way, one, two. So then if you tighten it one, two times, then you wouldn't want to come back later and tighten it two more times because then it'll get tighter and tighter. So that's uh, just a little bit that I can tell you to get started. So keeping that in mind, let's uh, practice. So the idea is you don't want to just turn the key because you don't know how tight, how much you're changing it. So what you want to do is you want to pluck the string. So look, I'm going to get the first string and I'm going to follow it all the way to the end. Aha, it goes to this one. So then I'm going to follow it all the way back. Now I'm going to pluck it and I'm going to turn the key to listen to it change. Ready? Did you hear it? It went down. Now you try that. Okay. Now don't go any more than maybe one, one turn. All right, now I'm gonna pluck it again and put it back. Let's listen to it when I do it and see if you can hear the sound getting higher. Did you hear that? Now you try it. Okay. Now let's go to string number two. Remember the one closest to the floor is one. And then we have string number two. Do you remember what letter that was? All right, if you didn't say out already, let's find out. Eric, eight, dynamite, good, bye. Eric, bye. String number two is a B. So now I wanna play with the tuner on the B string. So I follow the B string all the way until I get to here. It's this one in the middle. When you first start doing this, do that every time. Follow the string all the way because what happens when you're learning this, you'll be turning the wrong peg and you, you'll wonder why you aren't hearing any changes. Uh, it's easy to get mixed up and turn the wrong peg. All right, so string number two, which is a B, I'm gonna play that one. And after I pluck it, remember after I pluck it, I'm gonna turn the key and listen to what it sounds like when I turn it. Ready? Here we go. Did you hear it? It went up. Now you try it. Did you hear it go up? Okay, now I'm gonna pluck it again and I'm gonna go back where I started. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go to string number three. One, two, three. Do you remember what letter that string is? Okay, if you do, good job. If not, let's figure it out. Eric, A, dynamite, good. G, the third string is a G string. So now I'm gonna pluck it. That's what it sounds like, okay. So now I'm gonna follow that string all the way back to the tuner. It's this one right here. So if I pluck it and give it a good twist, I should hear it go higher. Ready? Oh, I heard that. Let me pluck it again and I'll go down. So I went up and then I went back down to where I started. Now you try it. All right, did it work? Now, students always ask me, how do I know which way to turn it? Okay, well, depending on your guitar, you may have already run into a problem because I, on each, on each one of these, I turned it and the sound got higher. And then when I turned it back, the sound got lower. Some of you may have had the opposite happen. Yeah, some of you, when you turned it just like I did, it's possible the sound got lower and then when you turned it back, it got higher. Aha, okay. So let's talk about what's happening. When I'm turning it, it's tightening the string. And when you tighten the string, the sound goes higher. And when I turn it back, it's loosening the string. And when the string gets looser, the sound gets lower. So if you're one of those people where when you turn it like I am, and the opposite thing is happening, well, that's just because the string is wrapped around the tuner in the opposite direction, 
or the little gear in here that's turning it is geared to the opposite direction. That's okay because we're listening. We're musicians, so we're going to use our ear, not our eyes so much, but more our ears to decide what we're going to do. So I'm going to pluck the fourth string. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to follow that string all the way back to the tuner. There it is right there. So it's this one up on top. Now I'm going to pluck it and turn it and listen to what happens. It went higher. So that means I tightened the string. And now I'm going to pluck it and turn it back and listen. Yes. And it went back to where it came from. Now you try that. Great. Now this time, I'm going to pluck that D string, but I'm going to go lower. Ready? Here we go. Now I'm going to pluck it and go right back up to where I was. There we go. Now you try that on your D string. And don't forget to follow the string to the tuner right there. If you need more time, you can always pause the video. And it's one, two, three, four, Eric 8 Dynamite. That's the D string. So go ahead and pluck it and turn it the opposite way so it sounds lower. And then after you do that, turn it back where you came from. It'll go right back up again. All right, did you try it? Did it work? Okay, now I'm gonna go to string one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, five. I almost went to six, but we gotta do five. All right, here we go, follow it. And there it is, it goes to the middle one on top for me. Okay, so this, what letter is this? Let's see. Eric, eight. This is an A string, and it's string number one, two, three, four, five. Five is the A string, and I'm going to pluck it and turn it up. And back down again. Do you see that? I went up and down all in one motion. Watch this and listen to hear how it sounds. Now you try that. Okay, now did yours go up and back down or did yours go down and back up? All right, well, whichever yours did, try and do the opposite now. I'm gonna go down and back up since that's the opposite of the first thing I did. Oh, wait, that wasn't right. See, my ear told me I was doing it wrong. So let's try it again. There we go, I went down and back up again. Now you try it. And, and if you go the wrong way and you know it, that's good, right? We learn from our mistakes. You saw me, I went the wrong way and I said, wait a minute, I was trying to go down, but I heard it go up. I must be turning it the wrong way. That's right. So now we're gonna do string number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that one is Eric. And I'm gonna turn Eric down and then back up. Now you try it. Great, now I'm gonna turn Eric up and I'm gonna turn Eric back down. There you go. Now try to remember, don't turn them and turn them and turn them and turn them because you might break something. And then let's review the names of the strings one more time. Eric, eight, dynamite, good, bye, Eric. Whoa, and I don't know if you can hear that, but my guitar is really out of tune now and yours probably is too. But that's okay because we will talk about how to tune the guitar and uh, if you're really beginning at this, um, hopefully you have someone in your house who can help you. And if not, uh, just let me know through email and we can talk about a, a way about how we can help you tune your guitar. I will do some lessons, uh, videos on how to tune your guitar in this class, uh, but it does take a while to learn how to do it and you might not get it right away and that's okay. We'll get you some help and we'll make sure your guitars can be tuned so you can play along with us. But this week, you have this to work on. You can learn the names of your strings and how they're numbered, and you can practice turn listening to the string while you turn the tuning key. All right, well, welcome to guitar class, and I hope you had a good time, and I look forward to seeing you next video. And now, maybe I'm gonna go out and play in the slushy, wet, slurpy snow that's getting rained on. <laughs>